What's up everybody, welcome back to another movie review. I'm Big Cam, your host, and today we are going to be continuing our Star Wars movie rewatch. Oof, I love to go back and watch these Star Wars movies. I'm such a sci-fi guy, I really am. Um, but today we are going to be talking about Star Wars Attack of the Clones, Episode 2 of the Star Wars, the second of the prequels. And uh, this one, I gave three and a half stars. It's got a half star more than Phantom Menace. I don't know if it's my favorite Star Wars movie, but this one I do look back on and I do really like. Um, and for a couple weird reasons, right? Like the parts where uh, Obi-Wan goes to Kamino and it's raining and you see the ship fall, flying through the rain. And it's like this full water planet. I really like Kamino as a kid and even as an adult. But... I happened to put on that movie on a day that it was pouring rain outside and something about watching a movie with rain in the movie, right? So say like seven, it's raining the entire movie. If you put on seven on a rainy day, I just feel like it hits so much more. You know what I mean? Like, so when I see the rain scenes in Star Wars Attack of the Clones and it's raining outside my window, I feel like I'm right there with Obi-Wan Kenobi on Kamino, you know, like... Maybe I'm crazy, comment below, do you think the same thing? But I love watching movies while it's raining outside and hearing the rain hit the window and then having rain in a movie. Oh, just something about that I've always loved. That's always been like a guilty pleasure of mine is rainy day, fire up a movie, you know? And fire up a movie with rain in it, even better. It just hits so much different. But, you know, this is the, the first movie we get. Hayden Christensen as Anakin, and I believe when this, these were coming out way back when, he got a lot of hate, you know, as as Anakin. But I I liked him as Anakin, you know. I but I grew up watching these movies. These, this movie came out in '99 was when Phantom Menace came out. 2002, so three years later, this one came out. I would have been three years old, so I definitely don't think I saw this one in theaters either. But by the time they got to Revenge of the Sith, I know I watched that one in theaters, so I must have seen these beforehand. Um, but either way, uh, <laughs> some of the things I don't like about this movie, particularly in this scene right here, uh, Obi Wan's hair. I don't know if it was a wig or if that was just how they styled it, um, but I don't know. Whatever this shit is right here, just like sitting on his shoulders. I don't, I don't like when the head does that for some reason. I, I'm not sure why. But Mace Windu is purple lightsaber. This whole like Coliseum event where they're fighting that like praying mantis thing. They're fighting a bull with a horn and then they're fighting what a cat like a saber tooth cat type thing and it scratches Padme. I, I really liked it. I really liked it. You know seeing Padme not like just be a senator or pregnant or dying you know you see her actually be badass for once you know shooting a blaster standing there next to anakin actually you know, fighting in a battle so i really like that side of the stuff but i'll tell you what this whole movie kind of drags right like this is a very star wars movies are long in general but this one feels very slow until you get to about the last 30 45 minutes and then you get like the wars of star wars and and it starts to really get good you know the 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 battle with uh count dooku great you know oh, uh what's his name anakin loses an arm then yoda has to come in and beat uh, count dooku yoda was count dooku's master at one point um count dooku was qui-gon's master qui-gon was Obi-Wan's master, Obi-Wan was Anakin's master, right? So it's all connected, really, through the Force, through Padawans and masters, and it's just like, you know, Qui-Gon said great things about you, Obi-Wan, you know, like, you know, <laughs> Obi-Wan and, and Count get a little second, right? Like, that whole part's great. But what I really like is when, like, the balls, I don't know, the balls, not the balls, but, like, you know what I'm talking about, the giant spears, uh, I think they call them Luker Hulks, but they're like taking off and they're shooting one down. They shoot one down. It lands, smoke, dust, clouds come everywhere. Um, and then they have this one shot. I don't know why. I've always loved this shot. But you see the clone troopers coming through the smoke. And they're shooting blaster shots. But they have blue shots you can see coming out of the gun. But you can see red blaster bolts just flying by them from the other direction. But it's like through the smoke it just looks great like this looks like there was a guy sitting in on a battlefield in space and they shot this shot like it doesn't look this doesn't look cgi especially for 2002 like this looks great like some some shots man just really pay off um but 
overall, you know, I, I look back on that movie with fond memories. I do love Star Wars a lot. Uh, I'm super excited for Ahsoka. Ahsoka is Anakin's. Uh, Anakin is Ahsoka's master. So, like, it, it all ties in, man. Star Wars is so good because of how connected it all is, but how different it all is. Um, right? Because Mandalorian isn't really like anything else, but it is. You know, like, it's got all the Star Wars juice that it needs. First season, you get Luke's, you know, a younger Luke Skywalker. You still got Yoda, but it's Grogu. You know what I mean? Like, the, the, I love the Mandalorian too. That season three wasn't the best of the seasons. I did like season one and two a little bit better. Um, I think maybe I, I was a little bit skeptical on them destroying the dark saber. I was like, come on, man, really? I wanted Baby Yoda to fucking <laughs> wield the dark saber, but instead, Baby Yoda became Din Grogu. Come on, come on. But it is what it is. We'll talk more about it in Ahsoka. Comment below. Do you think Grogu will show up in Ahsoka? I don't know. Um, I don't. I I wouldn't be surprised if they're in it, but I don't think they will. I think uh, if anything, she'll be in Mandalorian season four. Uh, but it is what it is. I don't even know if there will be a Mandalorian season four, or if they'll just have a, t a movie before Dave Filoni's movie that's supposed to cap off the Mandalorian and Ahsoka and Andor and stuff like that. Um, well, technically. Rogue One caps off Andor, but I'm just excited for that show too, Andor Season 1. If you haven't gone and checked that out, go check it out. There's tons of Star Wars stuff that's really good that people don't give it enough credit. People hated Book of Boba Fett. I like Book of Boba Fett. What was the problem? People hate us. Comment below if you're a hater. Um, <laughs> no, comment below if you love Star Wars as much as I do. Um, what is your favorite Star Wars movie, but more importantly, who is your favorite Star Wars character? Jedi? Sith? Human? You know, maybe it's Jar Jar Binks. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure that's everyone's least favorite character is Mr. Jar Jar Binks. But comment below all your thoughts on this movie. I would love to hear them in the comment section below or at me on Twitter, at Big Cam YouTube. Or you can find me on Instagram. You can find me pretty much anywhere, at Big Cam with two G's in the big because I'm extra big. And I will see you guys in the next video.